Hello everyone, this is Saurian Target welcoming you back to episode 7 of Primal Prey. We are finally on to the episode 2 string of missions where we will be hunting the famous Iguanodon and the cunning Troodon with the wounding teeth as we know. As you can see we completed the trophy hunts for episode 1 last time, got our 3 stars down there, and I've been doing quite a few random hunts to get us up to where we are in the cache. It's, as a matter of fact, been missions just like this, capturing a couple of Styracosaurs, because those missions pay about a thousand bucks each. But now we have moved on to episode 2 missions, and our first one is the Iguanodon Trap. The Iguanodon is very important to the Stevens Taxonomic Society, as it was the first scientifically classified dinosaur. Your job is to bring back a live specimen, male or female, for the society to examine. Start time, 6 p.m., pays $1,000. Okay. Now, I've been dreading this set of missions for a long time because most of them take place at midnight. That one's at midnight. This one's at midnight. Uh, this one, that one's at 6 in the morning, so it would be too bad. And it looks like the random hunts take place at midnight as well. Which is going to make getting cash in this set of missions pretty difficult. As a matter of fact, I'd like you guys to just see what this game looks like in the dead of night, because holy crap, if you thought it was hard to see before, just wait. Oh, already this is bringing back all kinds of horrible memories. It is so pitch black in Primal Prey at night, as you're about to see. And this, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Primal Prey at night. There's the moon, here is the environment, and it is dark. I mean, good luck hunting anything in this, let alone a pack of vicious, ravenous, jackal, weasel, chicken monsters. Oh my goodness. This is why night vision, I think, should just be standard, because this, no one wants to hunt in this. Ugh, let's get out of here. Man, wasn't that just a nightmare? Get it? Nightmare? Because it was at night and it was terrible, just like this game? Ugh, salt. Okay, sorry. We've gotten a Guanadon to catch, so let's go. I think we'll rock the Trank Pistol and Sonic Blaster combo, the Trank Pistol for the Carnivores and the Sonic Blaster to capture the Iguanodon. And I think we're going to go ahead and buy the Night Vision now because I'm going to forget and give myself every excuse to not get it later on because it's such a waste of money. You know what would be a great investment? These thermal optics, they are so freaking good. They let you see the heat signature of the dinosaur from all the way across the map, which is fantastic. How helpful would that be instead of these crappy things just coating your already limited view range in a green Instagram filter? Oh, but anyway, on the topic of tranquilizing or capturing dinosaurs, I've given the Trank Rifle a thought just because it'd be a faster way to take down dinosaurs without killing them, but I think we'd be better served if we went ahead and rebought the shotgun because we do need something that can actually kill dinosaurs relatively quickly. And we're also very close to buying the shrink ray, which is, I mean, you know, one of Primal Prey's big original draws. But in this episode, we're hunting the smallest dinosaurs in the game, so we don't need the shrink ray. Just yet, we'll save it for a later episode. And on the topic of night vision, Primal Prey has some really lame equipment. I mean, the cover scent? Are you kidding me? You don't need cover scent in this game. The big dinosaurs like Lambiosaurus and Iguanodon, they don't care that you're there. You can walk right up to them. They won't give you the time of day. The smaller ones like Gastonia and Styracosaurus, you can run down, and the carnivores are going to be hunting you anyway because they can see you from all the way across the map. So what's the point of cover scent? Plus, I'm pretty sure Sunstorm just lazily copy and pasted their cover scent model from their Deer Hunter games. Same with the weapon scope. The fog in this map completely obstructs your view. You can't use a weapon scope. By the time a dinosaur is close enough to see you, you won't need it. The call box, you don't need that either. I mean, I can see buying a hologram, but... Night vision's crap, binoculars crap, this is this is all standard equipment in carnivores. Here's, here's what I think happened. Primal Prey saw what carnivores did with their equipment list and said, we can double that, we can say we have more content. But this is all stuff that just comes standard in carnivores. The only good piece of equipment here are the stasis mine and the thermal optics. And they're so ridiculously expensive that there's no point in getting them because by the time you can afford them, you're done with the game. Whew. 
Sorry about that. Rant over. I just noticed this when I was looking through the equipment and I was like, goodness, this is all worthless. Anyway, let's go catch our Iguanodon. You know, now that we're here, I probably should not have brought the shotgun or night vision or the call box because we don't really need them. And if I die, we are loot. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is, this is really orange. Okay. Six o'clock has some serious intensity to it. And of course we can't see anything. Wait a second. <laughs> hey, Sunstorm, check it out. It's your logo. <laughs> Oh, you arrogant jerks. Had to put your own lo- What was that? Oh, no. No. Not yet. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Oh, such evil. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I don't think so. Where did they go? Is that it? Just show up at the spawn to scare me. Little punks. Oh, we're not going to get anywhere with this pack here. Let's just call him in. We'll let you guys listen to the Iguanodon call. It's very low, very cool. I don't know if it actually fits the dinosaur that well. But we'll give it a listen all the same. If you're maybe gonna open. Okay, yeah, see? Very cool. But it's not getting a response. Oh. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is your intent? Where? Where? I hear the Troodon. But I don't see them. Why are they playing that? Seriously, where are these things? Wait. Are you? Is the iguanodon making those noises? I think it is. I don't see. <laughs> I don't see any troodon. I think the Iguanodon is making those noises. That is so weird. Why? <laughs> this game is something else on so many different levels. Like, you could write a book, a full-length novel, about just the glitches and bugs in this game. It's so unstable, but... <laughs> The Iguanodon now sounds like the Troodon. Great. And there it goes again. Now I can't hunt anything without hearing that horrible screech. I thought hunting Iguanodon would be fine because it's like, hey, you get to listen to a cool new dinosaur sound, hunt something big and powerful, but no, it's just... Wait a second. That's a new nest, I think. Oh, oh wow, that was... Well, I wouldn't say quick, but... No, we needed more than that. Darn. I'm going to remember that nest. That's going to come in handy. I can still hear the Troodon. Maybe it wasn't the Iguanodon. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to pick up the call box. Don't want to forget that, because I'm pretty sure if you leave your equipment back here and head into the time portal, you are not getting it back. So we gotta make sure we pick that thing up before we leave. It's just so weird if that was the Iguanodon making those noises. You know, as far as the bugs and glitches go that we've seen this playthrough so far, all we need to do now is see a dinosaur walking around calmly at the bottom of the lake. And we'll have the trifecta of glitches complete. Is that an Iguanodon or a Troodon? Oh, definitely not a Guanadon. Oh. You know what? We could leave. I, went, yeah. I wanted to practice. Try this thing out. On, oh. Try this thing out on the Troodon. And it's not looking to be very effective. Oh, boy. 
This is gonna suck. I, I feel so underprepared for this whole slew of missions because I just, oh. I can't kill Troodon. Okay, that was a close call, but our first mission is done, and we were just short of the weight requirement. Mm, that stinks. I'll have to go back and do that one in my own time. Now we're moving on to a random hunt. Let's see what we have here today. Triple S Research is looking for a dead Troodon to use in teaching researchers. Start time midnight pays 500 bucks. <laughs> Why did it have to be at midnight? Uh, I'm going to leave most of this stuff at home, except for the essentials, like we don't need the call box, we don't need the sonic blaster, because I have a really bad feeling that we're not going to make it back from this one, and I don't want to lose my gear. Alright guys, our first midnight hunt. Who's excited? I'm sure not. This is gonna suck. Holy crap. Look at this. This is so dark. And here's night vision. Ta-da! That made things so much better, didn't it? Oh, I can see for miles. It's so crystal clear and crisp, like watching an HD documentary or something. No, it's not. This is crap. This is complete garbage. I mean, okay. I get it. It's a game. You want to make things authentic and as realistic as you can. And I get that night is dark. But also, it's a video game. You don't have to make it this pitch black. Even in movies, like, you know, there's always the moon glow and the blue backlighting and stuff to give it this unique atmosphere that also makes things visible. This is... what is that? I'm hearing things running. Oh, okay, it's Gastonia. Whew! Nice to see a friendly face on our first midnight hunt. It's like going to a strange place and running into somebody you know. Let's see, what do you look like without night vision? I'm curious. Ugh. Why is there a red tint? Why is the moon red? I don't get this. This is bizarre. Not to mention unrealistically dark. I mean, I guess technically it is better, but it's... It's like breaking someone's leg and then handing them a crutch and saying, Here, this will help you out. Like, no, just don't break the leg. Don't hamper us with this complete darkness. Give us something unique. Like what carnivores did with their nighttime system. Oh, that was great. Although I guess looking through night vision goggles was the thing to do back in the day because Jurassic Park and whatnot. We have to replicate that. Even though it completely sucks. And I can't... Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I must... Oh, no, no. no. How were these not... Oh. <laughs> How oh, he's not killing them? Oh, there we go. These are direct shotgun. Oh, oh, there we go. That is satisfying. These are direct shotgun blasts to the face. You guys should not be running around silly and everything after that. Okay. Oh, crap. Our mission is done, but we're gonna have to finish this thing. How was that not a hit? How was that not a hit? That was 110 percent. A hit. That was two? I have I feel so cheated. This game is broken beyond What? What? You can't <laughs> Oh I swap the drink pistol. I can't believe I mean i Oh jeez. Of course our first midnight hunt had to be this way. This is just everything I was afraid it was gonna be. Where? Where? Okay. Oh. oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Where are we? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know how many Troodon there are. We got one good hit on that Utah Raptor. Okay, okay. She's down. Now, oh, now for the Troodon. Oh, I could be done with this mission. I have completed it. Oh, you should be dead. Ugh. No, no, no. Calm down. Calm down. <sighs> there we go. Mm. Getting a little... Getting a little heated. Hasty. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, oh, that was it. We were dead. We were dead right there. Where, where, where? Okay, 
Okay, okay. You don't need to be silent, Utah Raptor. I need to hear where you are. There we go. Good hits, good hits, good hits, good hits. Just gotta keep this up. We can take him down. I think there's only two Troidon left. Only two Troidon. I can do this. There we go. Good hit. One, two. Yeah, okay. I think this is it. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Need a good angle. We gotta line him up. I really wouldn't mind the Utah Raptors by themselves, but, oh, the Troidon are making this difficult. Thank goodness. Is that it? Is he down? Oh, he's down. Thank goodness. Okay. It's just you guys now. I wouldn't mind the Utah Raptors by themselves, but the Troidon make this way... There we go. Way tougher than it should be. All right, you little punk. It's just me and you now. Oh, that's it. Who else wants some? <sighs> oh. My. Goodness. That. Was freaking. Ridiculous. If there were any doubters, any doubters who thought I couldn't do it, just some random guy running around a primal prey, not knowing what he's doing, oh, when it gets to the Troodon hunts, he's gonna die, he's not gonna survive, he didn't get any good practice in. Well, guess what, guys? I did it. I just took down an entire pack of Troodon, plus a pack of Utah Raptors, got one, brought it back to the future, and now we are on our way home. Ugh. That, <laughs> that has pretty much been my worst nightmare in Primal Prey. In the dark, Troodon, Utah Raptors, <laughs> just take me home. Holy crap. <laughs> if that was the first random hunt, oh, this is going to be a crazy set of episodes. Whew, but... That was good practice. I mean, I kind of was hoping something like that would happen where I could test out my skills against some more Troodon at night, and I'd say that was not terrible. No. Oh. That was rough, though. And these are just going to be more of the same. Oh. Multi-species, multi-kill. This, this is a rough one. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you haven't heard about multi-species, multi-kill, it's pretty infamous among people who played Primal Prey. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Thank you guys for sticking around and helping support me through this very trying time in my Primal Prey Let's Play. We fit the stuff I didn't want to do, but you guys are the best for sticking around and helping me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are all truly the best. And I will see you guys next time.